Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Life and Literature. My name's Emily and today I'm going to be doing a non-spoiler book review on The Lost and Found Bookshop by Susan Weeks. If this is something you'd be interested in, then please keep on watching. Heartbroken, Natalie Harper inherits her mother's charming, cash-strapped bookshop and finds herself the carer to her ailing grandfather, Andrew. She thinks it's best to move him to an assisted living home to ensure his care, but to pay for it. Natalie will have to sell up the bookshop. However, Grandpa, Andrew, owns the building and refuses to budge. Moving into the studio apartment above the shop, Natalie hires a contractor, Peach Gallagher, to do some repairs. When his young daughter becomes a regular at the shop, she and Natalie begin reading together while Peach works. Slowly, Natalie's sorrow begins to dissipate as her life becomes an unexpected journey of new friendships. From unearthing hidden artefacts in the bookshop walls to learning the truth about her family, the bookshop is full of surprises. Can Natalie reveal her own heart's desire and turn a new page? So, after kind of a few, a few months of reading some very emotionally heavy books this book was exactly what I was looking for it's a solid story um, with several interesting threads it is set in one of my favorite kind of cities to read about which is San Francisco um, it has some historical features which I found quite interesting um, there's a number of well-drawn characters to read about that are so intricate mm. And I think overall there was some romance in the book but it doesn't overtake from the whole story and there is a wise wise character in dear old Andrew, Grandpa Andrew and he is just lovely to read the interactions between him and Natalie. It really kind of warmed my heart and really was just what I needed during this time. Um, so Natalie herself has come across as always being the responsible one. She's got a working job, she doesn't necessarily have a lot of love and relationships but is quite stable. Then tragedy strikes and Natalie finds her life suddenly anything from stable. She quits her reliable job, returns home to San Francisco and takes care of her grandfather and the bookshop that she has been left to run. When she does start working there, she realises really how much she has loved it, how much she loves it, reading, just being a part of the daily runnings. And it was really heartwarming to, to read her kind of passion grow. And if anything, if I was given a bookshop um, that would be my dream life, just being able to run the kind of creativeness a bookshop holds and also get to just sneakily run off now and then and read a few books would be my ultimate goal in life. But kind of what follows in this story is family, acceptance, healing and a whole lot of love. Now, I found Natalie was a really likeable character, um, but I absolutely loved the grandfather. I also adored um, Dorothy, who is um, a young girl, very much charmed by the books and the shop itself. Dorothy's father, Peach, um, is the contractor helping to repair the bookshop and help Natalie out, really. As the bookshop begins to be healed physically, in a way so does Natalie's heart and there is an attraction evidently as you could probably tell between Peach and Natalie that develops slowly and sweetly throughout the book. Um, I just loved how the bookshop itself played a character in the story with so many memories and stories hidden within it both figuratively and literally within the walls. It meant that it kind of stood on its own two feet of being a main character itself and they kind of come together, um, Natalie in the bookshop, um, and really heal and grow and become something quite beautiful. So overall it was a very, very heartwarming book. 
it was just a pleasure and love to read I really 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 did enjoy it and I think if you're looking to a book if you're looking for a book to devour in one sitting and just kind of make you smile in all the right ways then this is definitely a high recommendation that I have so I hope you enjoyed please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and I will see you in the next one bye